Well, I think it demonstrates the dangers to him. His position is that he does want to get involved in TV debates, but he won't get involved in them in, on, on the format that's been proposed thus far because he thinks it's basically unfair to have UKIP involved uh, and not the Greens. So he's saying if you don't get the Greens, you don't get David Cameron. Well, he's got a letter uh, from and it's Id an identical letter, which is a bit of a collector's item, I would have thought, to get identical letters from such uh, dif different characters as uh, Ed Miliband, Nick Clegg and and uh, Nigel Farage, but they are all demonstrating that he's out on a limb on this, but they also highlight the danger uh, of uh, what this might mean for the campaign. So they say to the Prime Minister, it would be unacceptable if the political self-interest of one party leader were to deny the public the opportunity to see their leaders debate in public. Uh, they go on. Therefore, if you are unwilling to reconsider, the three party leaders who have committed to participate will ask the broadcasters to press ahead with the debates and provide an empty podium should you have a last minute change of heart. So it demonstrates to the Prime Minister that he's isolated at the moment, uh, highlights the potential danger of being empty chaired uh, that I think would be very awkward uh, from his point of view were that to uh, go ahead. But equally it's a high risk strategy from the three leaders because it means that if he changes his mind it might look like he's caving into his political opponents, could end up only entrenching him in his current position.